This is truly a historic moment. We watched as the first patient in the United States got a shot as part of a phase three kind of clinical trial for a COVID vaccine. This is really amazing. I mean, we didn't start working on this vaccine until January. So just seven months later, to have someone getting a shot in a phase three trial is truly remarkable. Volunteers are getting dosed with the very first coronavirus vaccine to reach the final phase of testing in the United States. And the dosing began today. One of a hundred research sites where the phase three trial is going on. 30,000 people have volunteered to be a part of it. We have a certain number of cases that we need to see in the trial before we can demonstrate whether the vaccine arm gives us a more, more protection than folks who are not on the vaccine arm of the trial. And then it's really up to the FDA to ensure that all the safety and efficacy measures have been met before they can allow the vaccine to be broadly distributed. There is a possibility that this might not work. Of course, everyone hopes that it does. They will eventually be giving shots to 30,000 people for this Moderna vaccine. Half of them will get the actual vaccine. Half of them will get a placebo that really does nothing. And in the end, they'll see what happens to those two groups. Johnson & Johnson also set to begin human vaccine trials in the United States later this week. How many doses of the vaccine will we need? Well, none of the vaccines at this point appear like they'll work with a single dose. We hope just two, although in the elderly, sometimes uh, it, it takes more. And, and so making sure we have lots of elderly people in the trial will give us that data. Some have suggested, you know, the, the political class is talking about how there could be a, an October surprise where the president is able to announce, you know what, we got a vaccine. I've delivered a vaccine and that would help him politically. Well, there's no politics in any of this. We need therapeutics and we need vaccines and we need them as quickly as we can get them. But the president believes that it's key now to his political future, that if they can say before November, if they can say that a vaccine has been developed or is even close, even if it can't be distributed yet, but if they can give the idea of hope, they think that could be very powerful. It could change late in the game, change some of the momentum, which right now is all working against them. The pharmaceutical company Moderna, as you know, reported some very optimistic new data out of their stage one trials yesterday. Uh, does that give you hope we could have a vaccine before the end of this year? I do think it was a very promising announcement. It was it was good news, but it was still it was in the form of a press release. And I think we really need to see the data. For some of the participants, they don't have all the results yet, early results now, but in eight of the participants, they actually ended up seroconverting, we call it. So they basically found out that because of the vaccine, they had antibodies. The good part is those antibodies are neutralizing. In other words, they'll take care of coronavirus and prevent it from taking hold, safe and well tolerated. And they found out that they were getting levels equivalent to people who recover from coronavirus and now we think have some immunity to it. Early results showing all 45 patients developed the same level of antibodies as someone who has recovered from COVID-19. The company now heading into phase two, testing about 600 patients. Phase three expected to start in July, testing as many as 10,000 people.